All right, welcome everybody. Welcome to the Social Media Mastermind. My name is Jerome Lewis. I am here with my lovely co-host Beth Ellen. Beth Ellen, please introduce yourself. Thank Ebony, you, Jerome. Ebony, could you? Yep. I'm here to learn. I love Canva. I think it's an amazing tool, and I can't wait to learn more. Back to you too. Thank you. All right, so Ebony, okay. All right. Welcome to the Social Media Mastermind. My name is Jerome Lewis. We have this class every Thursday at 2 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm your host for today, and we're going to go over some housekeeping. Uh, oh, I forgot. So we have this here in the EXP world and the Productivity Center every Thursday, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. All right. So I'm your host and just a little bit about me so you can understand my delivery and where I'm coming from. Um, I'm from the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania area. I am a I like to call myself a silly and serious millennial. I'm Beth Ellen gave me this term. She calls me a technologist, so I'm pretty good with technology. And then um, I am a introvert, right? So I like to bring that up because a lot of times people feel like that they have to be some amazing extrovert to do well in this business. You don't have to be. You can be an introvert and have some success. So I always like to bring that up because it identifies with certain people. Um, next, we talk about the disc behavioral assessments a lot of times here, and I'm bringing this up so you can understand my delivery by tonality right i'm a high d and i'm a high c and being a high d and a high c that makes me a implementer right so i really care about results i am very results oriented and i'm also very detailed so that doesn't that it doesn't only matter to me but that matters to you because when you come to our classes my sessions that's what i'm about i'm here to help you get results right Next, I am primarily a real estate investor, so I do some retail stuff, but for the most part, I like to buy and keep these properties. So I'm a real estate investor. And then last but not least, you can see here, I'm a real estate instructor. So I teach, you know, different things on social media and real estate. Um, and if you want to learn a little bit more about me, you can find out more at my website, JeromeLewis.com. Thank you, Nate. Nate is always so helpful. So this is our social media mastermind again we have this class every thursday 2 p.m eastern time and the way it works is we have generally a rotating schedule right um the way that schedule works is every first thursday of the month we do facebook and facebook marketing facebook ads facebook live anything around facebook and normally i'm the one teaching or showcasing that particular subject Week two, normally what we do is we have Instagram for real estate and we have Paula Ponte come and teach us how we can use Instagram for our real estate business, right? Then week three, right? We're still working on our week three. We're still working on getting a structure. But for this week, this is week three of our social media mastermind and we're going to do Canva and branding. And we're having Ebony Simmons, who is our speaker. She's going to teach us all about how we can brand our business using Canva and the importance of branding. Week four, the way it works is we usually have Jaime come in and he's going to teach us all about how we can use YouTube to generate leads and use YouTube for our business. And then week five, whenever we have a week five, that's a wild card. We can either do a question and answer session. We do a workshop. It depends on what it is that you want in your business. We usually leave that open for feedback from the crowd. That being said, I'm going to lead on my audience. I like to encourage engagement and interaction. I need to know. Um, I want to lean on audience. I need at least 50 percent engagement. Please let me know if you are ready to proceed. I need at least 50% engagement so we can proceed to the next slide. Type it in the chat. Type yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. All right. So really quickly, I'm going to go over some quick tips for you to get the most out of this training. And the, the, the main benefit, the main thing you want to do here is you want to participate and engage, right? So these are some tips for you to get the most out of this training. Uh, most of us are on our computer. And even if you're not on your, well, I don't know how you do it without your computer, but most of us are on the computer. And one of the things that you want to do is you want to utilize the screenshot feature, right? So there are going to be slides, there are going to be presentations, even conversations in the chat that you're going to want to capture. So Remember, take screenshots of these different things so you have them as notes and reference points in the future, right? Next, um, the way, so me and Ebony, we work together on setting up like her, her presentation. And normally when I do my presentations, like I put, cause you can't learn everything in one setting, one hour, right? So normally when I do my presentations, I'll put links and resources inside of the slides for people to, to get access to. Well, me and Ebony work together and we, she's done something similar. So 
Um, at the end of the presentation, she's going to tell you how you can get access to her slides so you can get access to those resources, right? So you stay towards the end, you get a bonus, right? You get the bonus, you get to collect the slides and you get access to her resources. And I think most people are going to appreciate it because this is going to help clarify like content creation. We got a bunch of fun templates for you. Next, um, again, like I said earlier, be engaged and be involved like we're here and we're learning we're listening to like a lecture ruth i need you to mute your device uh we're listening to a lecture for le a lecture format but don't be afraid to engage and interact with the people in the room your colleagues and um towards the end like normally what i like to do is i like to let the speaker speak and present during the first section right and towards the end we open up for q a so the only thing i want to ask is if you have questions please try to type them in the chat rather than muting rather than unmuting and interrupting our speaker right next i have a i have a youtube channel sometimes we post some of these videos there and i also have we also started a facebook group that was inspired by this class and we post some of those trainings in that group as well i'm sharing links to both of those resources in the chat for you all right so enough of my talking right today's subject is be your brand and we have ebony simmons she's here right she's here on behalf of we have um i don't have it but i'll get it for you like later but we have a bunch of affinity groups here in exp right we got a bunch of groups there's a list somewhere i can't remember but ebony is here on behalf of the ben leadership tribe and she's going to tell you a little bit about that when she when she introduces herself right um when she begins to speak I'm going to introduce Ebony, right? So Ebony, Ebony Simmons, she's a mother of two. She is a lover of all. Florida girl, motivator, contributor, and a woman of many traits. Ebony is a certified EXP mentor. She is a team leader and a success coach. And she is our, for the BEN tribe that I just talked to you about, she is the content communication leader for that tribe. So I'm excited. Me and Ebony, we've been working together uh, a lot lately. And I'm excited about this presentation. That being said, Ebony, the floor is yours. Please take it away. Hello, everyone. So delighted to be here and be able to provide you with some golden nuggets today about being your brand. Because again, you are your brand and your brand does matter. Thank you very much, Jerome, for inviting me on this platform you are to be able to um, drop these great nuggets and to help our fellow colleagues and branding their business and taking their business to the next level. Because again, you are your brand and your brand says a lot when you stand by it. Um, again, I am a mother of two and a lover of all. I love everybody and it's enough for me to go around, at least I think. Anyways, um, yes, like Jerome was saying, I am um, in Southwest Florida. I'm a part of the Premier Lifestyle Group. I am a team leader and success coach there. Um, I am also a certified EXP mentor. Um, I do um, have a couple mentees up under me right now that I am mentoring and getting them on that road to success in the real estate business. Um, as well as I am the content communication tribe leader for Black EXP Network. Um, EX, Black EXP Network is a place, it's not about color, it is about culture. So we do invite all to join our group. Um, we are here to just uplift each other um grow in in a major way and our 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 goal is to grow that group to a hundred thousand agents by 2030 so um i am going to help with that in any way that i can um but without further ado we'll just go ahead and get into uh what's popping today and what we are going to be talking about so if you can click that slide for me jerome i'd appreciate it yes ma'am already all right, so what's popping for today? We're going to be talking about, of course, we've already said that branding, personality, color scheme, content creation, social media, and video. Um, all of these things um, are essential when you are branding yourself and getting yourself out there in the industry. So um, next slide. And if I'm going too fast, you guys slow me down, please. Okay. Um, so, you know, as you guys know, so branding is basically a brand, a name, a term, a design, symbol, or any other feature that identify a seller's goods or services as a distinct from those of others. Um, and of course, your brand is also a part of your uh, marketing all the way around the board, no matter how you see it. Um, when you think about branding, you want to think about, I'm going to use an example of water bottles. That's why those water bottles are there. When you speak in terms of branding, there are so many different types of brands of water. 
but we know that quote unquote people say that all water tastes the same i do disagree because i am a waterologist that's all i drink is water and water does have different tastes but when it comes down to branding there's so many companies that sell water and if you think about let's just say like evian that brand of water the way that they display their commercials and the way that they they're they've created their bottling their brand and the effect on what how it's supposed to make you feel because again branding is also and has an emotional effect on people so they say that evian water is supposed to make you feel young versus um perrier water it's a bubbly water that's supposed to um make you feel bubbly and sexy based on their commercials and how they put their marketing out there in their branding that is what the difference is between the two so of course when you're deciding on what water you want to drink branding takes fact because it's we make we make decisions and we do things of on emotional effect on how it makes us feel so a lot of times when we're thinking about um our branding we need to we want our branding to be able to stand out so that it can have an emotional effect on people and because you are your brand you really need to think about the things that you involve yourself in the things the content that you put out there for people to see so on and so forth so hit me with the next slide please So um, as far as personality, um, when it comes down to the personality and characteristics of behaviors, the cognitions, and again, that emotional pattern, like I said before, branding is a personality that can be established by the purpose or um, the promise that you're making on your product. So us as realtors, we're always um, looking to have, we need some sense of personality when we're delivering our brand and when we're delivering messages to people because we want them to be able to, again, connect with us. And your personality is one of those connecting factors of someone wanting to do business with you versus doing business with another agent. So what are you, this is a question for you guys to think about. What are you gonna do differently than all the other 10,000 agents in your in your area that's gonna help you stand out and attract who you attract? Now, please know and understand, you're gonna attract who you're gonna attract. There's somebody for everybody, but you wanna make sure that you're being the most genuine when you're dealing with people and when you're just, you know, people are attracted to energy. So what type of energy are you putting off? What type of vibe are you putting off? Are you a community contributor? Are you giving back to your community? Are you educating your community? People want to know those types of things when it comes down to you being in the business and being a realtor and in real estate. What are you giving? Because people always want to see, number one, we are in a C society, and then they always want you to add some type of value. What type of value are you giving me in this framework of your marketing and branding? So um, remember, your personality matters. I am one who likes to have fun. I like to laugh. I am a bubbly person. Um, not everybody is like that, but you have to figure out your niche of who you are and how you want to display yourself to the public. Next slide, please. Um, so, also now we're talking in terms of color palette. So, of course, you know, everybody has their own distinctive logo um, when it comes down to um, their brand, because your logo is a part of your brand too. So, when you're creating um, a color palette for your um, your brand and your logo, you want to make sure that you, you, you use a color palette that is attractive to the eye, um, maybe not too much. You don't want to go too, too far with the colors. Um, as you can see, this slide presentation is all done in red, black, and white. And the reason being is because I am branding my team's colors. Our colors, Premier Lifestyle Group's colors, are red, black, and white. So majority of our marketing is done using those colors. Even if we just have a hint of red, we're always using red, black, and white because that symbolizes our logo. Uh, we've already made a presence in our community. So when people kind of see signs or anything coming from us, they identify us from color. You can, they identify us from the colors and they know, oh, that's the logo, that's Premier right there. So um, it's important to make sure that you're choosing a color palette um, that is, that represents you, um, that isn't too busy. And then also you want to be consistent with your color palette and your colors when you're doing that marketing, because that is definitely important as well. 
Ebony, uh, really quickly, could you talk about, because like I struggle with this sometimes, like, could you talk about what, what is it, like, what's too many? And you mentioned the phrase too busy. Could you talk about that? Give some insight on those? Yeah, um, sometimes when um, I've seen some marketing, oh, I, I should have had a display of what bad marketing looked like versus good marketing. But I mean, branding material. Um, I've seen sometimes people like, okay, let's just say I have red, black, and white, but then if I add a green to that or... Um, you don't want the colors to be too busy. You want you don't want any too loud of colors that you're not like, what is that? That's all over the place. You kind of want to be, like I said, you want to be consistent and kind of keep a clean look. Because at the end of the day, sometimes busyness, extra stuff can bother people's eyes or it'll just turn them away from it, period. Like, oh, I don't want to click on that. That's too much. Um, so you want to make sure that whatever you're, whatever you're marketing and whatever that you have created, has subtle colors or it can be whatever color you want but just try not to put too many colors we don't we're not looking for the rainbow we're looking i mean some people may be but i'm just saying okay so would you say what what would you say is like too many colors is it is four too many three two like i i, I, well, I think have, we have three i say three colors is like the like you should stop start just three colors you know three colors at the max but make sure your colors kind of blend. Don't don't go too too far fetched and too crazy with it. That's all I'm saying. Okay, that's helpful. Thank you. I mean, just think about let's. How about this? Let me give you another mind frame of something when you think about marketing and when you see a brand. Think about Coca Cola. Their colors never changed. They're always red, black, and white. Think about Pepsi. If you look at their colors for Pepsi, they only have a few colors, but those colors always stay the same. They'll, those are their distinctive colors for Pepsi and Coke. We know when we see that, even when we see the bears on the commercial, we know that that's a Coke commercial. Okay. Yeah. You follow? Yes. Thank you. Uh, okay. Next, Next slide. slide. All right. So um, when we talk about um, content creation, of course, um, create content that helps tell your story. This will help you share your brand. Um, again, like I said before, we live in a C society where people want to see what you're doing and how you're doing it. So when you're creating content to put out um, for marketing, you want to be as creative as possible with your with your content, but you also want your content to be able to tell your story. And with that, with it telling your story, not just um, not just pictures, um, definitely video. Of course, we'll get on the topic of video. Um, in a moment, but you definitely want to make sure that what you're doing and what you're displaying to people is telling your story and your brand to make them want to do business with you. I even, um, when it comes down to the content creation and things like that, like even when I have closing and I gift closing gifts, your closing gifts are a part of your brand. And you want to be, sometimes, I know you may not gift all your clients the same thing, but I'm going to be honest with you. I like to make creative gift baskets for my clients, um, usually with like some candles, um, some wine, different things, or something that I know that the client likes. But I do that for every one of my closings. And I have this golden key that I take uh, with me to take photos with my clients. And sometimes when I show up with that key, because people have saw in other photos that golden key, they're identifying my brand with that key because I take, I take it to all of my closings. All of my clients take a picture with it if they choose to. So when you think about um, that content creation, you wanna make sure that the content that you're creating and you're putting out there uses, again, your color scheme. You wanna keep that consistent and you wanna create content that is creative. You wanna create content that is helpful um, to other people, just like, just for instance, if you were throwing out there, you know, we're coming into the new year and we know that um, people will be looking to buy homes for the new, you know, as their goal. So if you want to put something out there pertaining to what, what's needed by the lender, you create some type of graphic um, saying they need two weeks of pay stubs or, I mean, I'm sorry, they need um, pay stubs, they need two years of income tax, two years of this, that, and the third, you put that creative, um, you make an image with your creative touch on it and then you put it out there. That's you educating the people with your content. So when we talk about content creation, you wanna sometimes think outside of the box. 
Don't do everything that all the other realtors are doing. Again, remember, you want to separate yourself from all the others. You want to stand out. So do something that's going to help you stand out. Next slide, please. Um, again, so we're on the topic of social media here. Um, again, your social media platforms, you want to make sure that um, within those platforms, you are staying consistent. What happened? Sorry. Give me just one second. I'm losing myself. Okay. Social media, so you want to decide what social media accounts you're going to focus on. You want to make sure that, um, especially once you start in the new year and you're really cleaning up your social media, you want to clean up your social media accounts from all the old content that isn't really a re relatable to your new brand. So it's basically like you're going to clean it up and give your rebirthing, rebranding yourself if you haven't already gotten your brand established. Just start the new, new, create engaging content and you want to definitely make sure you post at least three to four times a week. I know with our busy schedules and things like that, sometimes we can get um, a bit overwhelmed or maybe we can't post as much as we'd like to. But even if you don't post a graphic, if you post like maybe a motivational quote, if you post um, definitely do a video, even if it's like a five second video, I mean a one minute video just saying, hey guys, let me give you a little bit of motivation for today. You know, just wanted to come in there and tell you, you are great, be great, do the greatest, you know, whatever it is that you want to say to your audience, just make sure you're jumping and you're chiming in because your social media presence is what's going to help you grow your business as well. And in terms of social media, when we're talking um, about certain things like um, on Instagram, if you're going to be creating that Instagram following and things like that, you want to make sure that you're using hashtags um, so that your, your, your brand and your image or whatever it is that you're posting can be visible on more than one page. So um, I know Instagram allows you up to about um, 30 hashtags. Um, get creative or sometimes like for, for our brand, um, Premier Lifestyle Group, you hashtag, you put in your search bar, hashtag PLG, you're going to see a lot of um, content from our group, our team that we've done in the community and different things like that. So come up with some type of creative hashtag for your brand and you make sure you use that all the time. Anytime you're posting something, you want to make sure you use those hashtags because those are definitely important and um, can help your brand get recognized as well. Um, again, so like I said, if you're going to focus on Instagram, you know, make that one of your places. But, you know, with Instagram and Facebook, you can connect your business Facebook page to your Instagram so that you don't have to worry about posting on so many different social media sites, it can automatically do it for you. I know that there are a few other apps um, around as well that um, allow you to um, be able to share on different social media platforms at the same time as well. But remember, um, on average, um, three to four times a week is what keeps your, um, your, your audience engaged because they're looking forward to you posting something. They're looking forward to that message from you. Rather, like I said, if it's some creative content, um, a video or a motivational quote, or maybe a closing that you had. They want to hear, people want to hear the good news about you too. They're not following you just to hear you talk. They're following you so that they can be in your business too or be a part of who you are. So eventually one day when they do finally get to meet you in person, it's already like they know you because they, they've kept up with you on social media. It just makes it seem like, oh, you know what? I finally get to meet you in person, but I feel like I already know you. Yeah, you feel like you already know me because you've been gay, you've been on my social media watching my engagements with people. So that's a connecting factor that will keep you connected and again, help you grow that brand and help you grow your business. Ebony, I would like to get your perspective, right? Because we get this a lot in our classes. There are, and, and it can be overwhelming, I completely understand. There are several social media channels. We've got YouTube, we've got Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Pinterest. There's so much social media. From your perspective, right, and your experience, if I'm brand new, it's like all of these, all of these, I call them rabbits, right? All of these rabbits, which rabbit should I chase? Which social media platform should I choose? If I had to, should I try to do all of them at once? Should I focus on one? Should I focus on two? What's your perspective? 
This is what I'm going to say. And I always use this quote and I tell people, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. So I feel like whatever one you feel like is going to help you the most, which I would say I started with a Facebook business page, but in, and then I converted that with my Instagram so that they will attach. So if I can kill two birds with that one stone, that is what I focus on the most building up my Instagram following and also that Facebook business page because people are that content from Instagram goes directly to my Facebook business page. So that just kills that. So if I master one of those first, I think that that would be the, as a new agent, the first place to start. Okay. So pick either Instagram or Facebook master one specific channel. And then later you can sync them and attack both at the same time. There you go. Okay. Next slide. Next this slide. is this is my favorite right here. So, video. video. All right. So, um, live videos are essential in branding. Your brand needs a voice and a voice to connect with your story. So, be consistent with your ideas and the content so that you become memorable and trustworthy. Because if when you do those live videos and people start to see more of you and hear you not just live videos of you sitting in front of a desk talking, but when you're out in public places, when you're out um, eating at a small business or a restaurant or whatever, you want to highlight those things because when people look at your videos and they look at your content, especially in an area that they're maybe deciding that, oh, I think I want to live in Florida and I want to live close to Fort Myers Beach or something like that. Highlight those areas that are hot. Highlight the, the great places to see within your, your city or whatever area that you cover because what it's going to make you look like is like a rock star. Like you really know that area. So it's also going to attract more people to you because it's like, oh, she goes everywhere. She knows all the spots. She knows this. She knows that. You want to be as um, resourceful to your audience as possible. Even if it's small things, I mean, you don't really want to get into political things and stuff like that, but even if there's like um, events that the commissioners put on or just local events, art shows, um, art walks, different things like that, you want to be able to um, let people know that you're engaged, not only you're selling real estate, but I'm engaged in my community as well. If you're having charity events, different stuff like that, those are the times when you want to go live the most so that people can see, I am a contributor. I give back to the community that helps support me that I sell homes in. So you want to make sure that your brand identifies with that too, because your brand has a purpose. You have a purpose in your, in your, in your business. Your purpose is not just to um, sell homes, but your purpose is to help families fulfill that American dream. So if you being a contributor, showing people that you're involved, you're hands on, that just makes them even more um, prone to wanting to do business with you because you're one of those type of people. Um, and just remember your brand um, your brand has purpose and values and a promise. So your promise to the people is to help guide them to that American dream. But how are you going to display that? That's what people need to see. Again, it goes back to that. We're in a C society. Sometimes you can talk about, um, you can talk about being a realtor all night and day with, with just images and posts that you put. But when you start to add video to that and they can physically see you working, you're showing those homes, you're doing a quick video while you're doing a walkthrough with a client or something, that type of stuff is what connects them and lets people know that, Hey, this video or this person is worthy for me to do business with this this person right here just has something about her or him that makes me want to trust them with the home buying process so that's something huge and i mean you could do videos on all types of things i i really um within myself i'm like i do videos um i should be doing more and i will be doing more coming 2022 that is my commitment um, but I, we, I used to do videos a lot, even when I first started real estate, um, just videos. And I know that you probably, some people are shy when it comes down to the camera. Some people don't want to be on camera, but who says that the camera has to point directly on you? Maybe you can just be talking in the background and just showing off whatever it is that you want to show off. But one thing I will say, and I got this from Veronica Figueroa, she's, she's always says, your, excuse my language, your shitty video will outdo any non-existing video any day. 
So even if you're not the best at video, put the video out there anyways. It's going to help you. You're going to get more comfortable and then you're also going to grow. When I first started doing video, I go back and I look at um, the history of that and I'm like, I used to say, um, 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 so much. Now I can do a video and just talk fluently and consistent with my words. It's because practice makes perfect. The more you do it, the better you become. Consistency, consistency, consistency is what is gonna hold value when you place, put a video out there anyway. So just be consistent with your brand, consistent with your marketing, consistent with your content, Consistency, consistency, consistency. Ebony, from from yeah, from b- before we go there, from your perspective, right? Because this, and I just want to talk about. I li- love to talk about video because I understand the importance, the influence of video. So I want to get your perspective. Um, and you kind of address some of it, but um, so I'm new. I haven't done video. I'm shy. I don't know how to do video. What's a good first video to do? A good first video to do is introducing people to you, to who you are. Hey, like when you're, when my my new agents, uh, when I have new mentees come in, I always tell them, listen, you gotta do a video. And this is what you're gonna say on the video. Hey, um, it's, I'm just gonna do it with my name. Hey, Ebony Simmons here. I just wanted to come on live and let all of my followers, family, and friends know that I recently got my real estate license and I am now your Southwest Florida realtor. I would love to help guide you through the process of home buying. If you're looking to buy, sell, invest real estate, please don't hesitate to reach out to me as I am here to help you and guide you through the process. Boom. First video. Put it out there. See what type of engagement that you get. Because what's going to happen is all those people that you just spoke to, that audience that you just spoke to, first of all, they're going to start congratulating you. After they start congratulating you, then they're going to be watching you. So that's when you have to become consistent with your with what you're putting out there because they want to see, are you really doing real estate like you say you are? That's the, pro- that's the point right there. Thank you. Very so helpful. I would start there. Thank you. Next You're slide. Welcome. So this this is this is her personality slide right here. Go for it. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead, Jerome. Do it. You are your brand. Period. Period. You gotta have some type of enthusiasm when you think about being your brand because you are your brand. You want your brand to be exciting. You want your brand to pop. You want your brand to be it. You are it. You are your brand. You have the secret sauce. No matter what I tell you, how I tell you, I can give you a recipe to something down to the to the science. And you can do it, but it may not taste the same like mine did. Because guess what? You possess the secret sauce. You are the brand. Point blank period, no questions asked. You make sure you put yourself out there and you put yourself out there in a way that you can be recognized, period. All right, Jerome, next slide. There you go, man. So um, we're going to just dive a little bit deeper. Again, a lot of these um, bullet points that I've already hit, this is just basically giving you that that format or that foundation of why brand, why that branding is important and why you need to be consistent with it. Because again, your branding is important because it's practical and have an emotional effect on people. Just like I was talking about earlier with the water. You you just, just distinguish what brand of water you want based on, like you, they said, Evian makes you feel young. Perrier makes you feel, make you feel expensive and sexy and rich, if that's what you want to say. <laughs> but your brand is communicated by you. And people feel a certain type of way about you. They're going to want to do business with you. Um, Again, it communicates a message, of course, um, the message of I'm here to help you. I am a contributor. I want to see you do great. So I'm going to help you with that. Um, Your brand, of course, is unique. So um, it's unique because it's you. It's unique because it identifies you and what you stand for, your purpose and your values, your promise to the people. That is why it's unique. And of course, um, when you're creating your logos and different things like that, Sometimes you want to have a nice, unique logo 
or sometimes you want to have something that's just modern and simple, which is okay. That's totally fine, but just make sure that brand represents you. You are that brand. And of course, uh, why branding is important because it gives people choices. Why would I choose Sally Joe over here versus Monique? You know, why am I choosing them versus you? Because your brand's gonna stand out and speak. You're gonna sh you're gonna display and you're gonna show things that may be a different and unique experience. You're gonna have client testimonials. You're gonna have things like that that's gonna help you attract those buyers or those sellers or people that want to do business with you. And again, this isn't just to real estate, but I'm doing this because of course we're in real estate, but this can be for any unique thing that you're selling. You want to make sure. And of course, um, the most important part of branding is for you to attract and retain loyal customers, because once you get that one, they're going to refer you. And if you, if you treated them well, and you've done such a great job and exceptional job for them, you're going to definitely get their referrals. They're going to refer their family member to you. I just, I'm just going to say that this morning, I had a phone call, a text message come in from one of my clients that I recently closed and her deal was kind of a little rocky when it came down to the lender. And, you know, we still got through it, we closed it and everything, but she saw how I was fighting for her within that deal when it came down to that lender. So what did she do today? She texted me, hey, Ebony, my sister's looking to purchase, a, um, she wants to move in the same area that I'm living in. She's going to do new construction, this and that. Can you help her with this? Of course I can help her. But that's the type of impact that you want to have on people that you get repeat business and uh, referrals from them because you've done well to them. You've treated them well. And that branding portion of it, where you've shown them, hey, I have you, I'm going to take care of you. It speaks for itself. So definitely want to attract and retain loyal customers. And that's why branding is important. Next slide, please. So um, as far as um, these are just a few examples of some of the branding um, that I have done in the past of content that you can put out there um, when you're working. So you're you putting these under contracts images out there of the homes that you have under contract, you putting the pictures of homes that you just closed. And again, another infographic of, you know, telling people the three reasons to stop renting and why they should buy now. Um, this type of information, again, this is just content that you just throw, you know, you just simply throw this type of stuff out there. But if you notice, um, on all of my brand, um, all of my posts here, the colors are consistent. The logo is consistent. Everything is consistent when it comes down to, um, the marketing, the content that I created and the marketing aspect of it. Um, no, I don't always, um, you don't always have to put your image on here, but I want people to know because I'm on a team. So there's multiple people on our team and we're always marketing and we always share each other's work. So we just want to highlight, you know, when you, I put my image there to highlight, hey, this, this is a win for me. So um, if you can do that as well, but you don't always have to have your image directly on there, but you definitely want to make sure that you're staying consistent with that logo and with the branding colors and um, just the uniqueness of how you present your um, content. So um, without further ado, that's pretty much um, in a nutshell, branding. I hope I haven't overwhelmed anybody. I hope um, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Um, Jerome, I know that we're gonna do a live demo, but kind of tell me how are we going to do this because you know my screen isn't working right yeah way. so um yeah i'm not sure how we can do this but we we could kind of work together we can kind of figure this stuff out before we try though uh let's lean on our audience is does anybody have any questions around branding social media canva anything before we try to do like a live demonstration and um if we can't do this live demonstration again we still have those we still have the examples for you towards the end of the slide but um let's see if anybody has any questions first any questions and this is the time for you to open up your microphone if you have a question and you want to talk to ebony or you know me or bethelen somebody directly feel free to do that you don't have to stick to the chat now we can open up our microphone so anybody have any questions want to open up their microphone
Jared, could you open? Do you have a microphone? Could you like clarify your question? No mic. All right, Ebony, I'll try to um, frame this. Ebony, do you have any suggestion on how to create your brand model? So this is what I'm going to say um, I'm, if I'm answering this correctly. So when you when you think about um, your brand, the first thought is you're going to think about what what kind of value do I want to add when I'm talking thinking about this brand. You want to have that brand identity of what and also it's in, that's why it's important to know what your logo is going to look like because your logo is going to reflect your your branding promise so what is it that you're promising the people when it comes down to this brand and this logo you have to um make sure that that identifies with your with your logo with what you're putting out there um and just think about it as if you were putting it on a package or putting it on something what do you want that to look like you don't want it to be all over the place you want it to be you know unique to your identity of course but also just kind of fine tune. But again, you are your brand, so it's up to you. What do you see your brand looking like? What do you see that logo looking like? It's gonna start with that logo and the purpose behind it. That's what's gonna help you get that identity. And then when it comes down to the colors, you what colors do you like? I hope that kind of helps. Yeah, yeah, so I don't see any questions in the chat. I, uh, I I would like to try the demo. So, but we have to be mindful. It's 2:43, so that means we have about 17 minutes. Do you think we can achieve something in 10 to 15 minutes? We that can do a very simple, quick one. I really, really wish I could share my screen because it would be so easy for me to just show. Um, yeah, we can try it. Okay. Yeah, I wish you could share your screen too. Uh, um. All right, so we're gonna try it. Can you see my screen, Ebony? You're gonna instruct yeah, me. You're gonna teach well, me today. All right, so let's go to around. Canva. All right, I'm in Canva. So okay, in Canva, it gives you quite a few options on what style, um, what style you're gonna be doing as far as is it gonna be a flyer? Is it gonna be for social media? Is it gonna be for whatever? So if you're gonna put it on Instagram or Facebook, I always click social media for the size because that's the perfect size so you don't have to worry about it not sitting fully on the page or anything like that so Jerome if you want to go ahead and click one for social media right we up can here just, we can start on a blank canvas yeah okay there we go let me let me move up a little bit so I can kind of there we go I can see the screen a little bit better now let me walk over there sorry I'm sorry y'all okay all right, so once you do that, go ahead and um, click one that says social media so it can bring up a blank screen. Where? All right, go. You see how up here in your right hand corner it says choose a design? Right here? Yeah. Create a design? You can okay. click that, create a design. And then you want to click one that says um, either Instagram or Facebook post or something like that. Okay, we'll do Instagram post. All right, so Instagram post. So it's going to give you the size of what your Instagram post is. So we're just going to make a really quick one. So um, what I like to do on the, the far left hand side is going to be your toolbar. And what you can do is you can choose from many different um, shapes, sizes or whatever. So um, what I would like you to do is go to the shapes. Here? Yes. Okay, so I would also, so where you see the circle, the square, and the lines and all that stuff, yes. I would like you to click that. Click where? Um, just click all of them. You want to see all. See all? Yes, see all. All right, so if you scroll down up under the hearts, you see that shadow kind of box right there? I would like to use that. This one here? Yes. Okay. Okay, so now that you have it on the screen, I would like you to make it um like an outline for the square that is already existing like this 
Like that? But not so not covering the whole square though. Kind of go in just a little bit. All right, okay. there we go. All right, so what we also want to do as you're highlighting, anytime you're highlighted on something, it's going to be in blue. So I would like to change that color if you go to the upper left right there. Yes, we change that color to red, please. Boom. All right, so now we have this red square. Now, um, what I would like to do is, do you have any images saved to your... Um, to your what kind of image do you want? Because we got some oh. in here. We could just use Yeah, just get a house or something. Just find something of a, of a home. House. So I'm going to search. I'll click on house, and then I'm going to search for house. Yeah, so you're going to click on, um, I think, what is it? Uploads or images? I'm here. You see the houses? Yes. All right. You can click on any house that you'd like. Which one do you like? You have control of the mouse, so go ahead, please, sir. Okay. Yes, ma'am. All right, so let's just say we like, we're gonna display this home here. And if you could slide that home up more towards the, you know, to the top a little bit, cause we're gonna put some information here at the bottom. All right, so then now we have this home, we have this selected inside of our box, highlighted in red. Then we can go over here to our text box and insert a text box. So here, click text. Click text. And if you just, the text will come in different sizes and it shows you different fonts that you can use there. We're just gonna create, just click the top one, please. This one? Yeah. No, not that one. Go up. All right, fine, that's fine. All right. We can do that. But that's too big, so no, delete that one. Okay. Use your delete tool over here, okay. Go to add a, what does it say? Add a font, add a something right here at the top on the left-hand side. Yeah, add a heading, subheading. Yeah, there we go. Let's, let's click that. There we go, right okay. there. So I'll add a heading. There you go, add a heading. So you're gonna change your font and that's where you're gonna put your information. Let's just say if you're just listing this property, but you wanna put your information, you wanna put your name, um, your phone number, your email address or your website, you wanna put all of that in there. So I'll type that up. I got it in there. It's black. All right. Then you're going to guide that. Yep. Guide that down to the bottom there. And then let's just put a, maybe just list it. We're going to put a just list it going across this house at the top left hand corner. So how we're going to do that is we're going to go back to the shapes. Okay. Elements. Elements. Yeah. There you go. Um, you can use a square shape if you'd like. Square. Yeah. We're going to make it more rectangular. Okay. How do we do that? Um, from those corners, if you adjust the corner or the middle and you just slide it up. Corner and then middle. The corner is going to make it smaller, but the middle is going to make it thinner. Okay. There you go. So we kind of want to, there's like a little thing on there that makes it um, rotate. Those two arrows, how, which way do we want to rotate it? Um, if we're going to put it in the, if we're going to put it in the left hand corner, we're going to rotate it to the left. Like that. To the right. Yeah, there that. you go. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, drag okay. it over there. There you go. So we're going to change the color of that box. We can make the box black, but the font that we're going to put in there will be red. How about that? Okay, so and the way I do that is I click up here where this is. That's correct. And mm -hmm. you said turn the box black? Yes. Black. And then what do we do with the font? All right. So with this box, before you before you do that, can you right click that box for me, the black box? Yes. Okay. And then on that right click, do you see where it says bring it backwards or something like that? Yes. Send backwards. And send back. Send backwards. Yes. Send it back. Okay. Okay. Wait. Never mind. I'm sorry. Cause the image. Never mind. Go ahead. Bring it back forward. I'm sorry. Right click it again. to the front all right so let's just go add the font and we're gonna put just listed in there okay so we can type it and we can choose yes a text click please heading and then yeah. just listed yep and what 
color do you want me to make this text? Red, please. Red. Red. So click up here. Yep. That. And I'll probably. And then you can make the font bold or you can change the font depending on the style or whatever you're looking for. And then you want to adjust it to make it bigger. So make it bigger. Yes. There you make go. Bigger. And you said bold it. No, oh, that's fine like that. It looks pretty okay. good to me. All right, I'll undo it. So just let's see. That's a, that's there a quick we go. example. So this is like a quick example of how you can just create images to put out on your social media or whatever. This is just a just listed. And then at the, you could add your photo if you had a photo of yourself so that people can see that you are the listing agent for this. Um, and there is ways that you can edit your photos to remove backgrounds and different things like that. There's so many tools and so many different things that you can play with in here. I just wanted to give you guys a quick way to just make something really fast. Okay. That was helpful. And it may not be easy for everybody, but Canva is pretty step-by-step -step kind of basic um, stuff. And they also, again, um, there's ways to maneuver in there. It's pretty easy. Okay. So really quickly, I want to go back to your presentation and I want to show those examples. Does anybody yeah. have any questions before we go to Ebony's like live examples and live demonstrations? Yes, I have a question. Yes, go for it. Um, you said to post like at least three to four times a week. Um, out of those three to four times, um, how many is just like, I guess, personal stuff compared to our real estate stuff? Oh, that's a great question. So I would say, um, when you talk personal, are you saying family wise or what do you what do you mean on the personal? Um, just like whatever you wanted to, I guess, display um, to the public so they get to know you. Right. So, OK, so something that um, uh, um, that causes an emotion. So, yeah, I would say at least one emotional post a week, like even if that's like a, a, a even if that's like a quote of like something that you believe in or how you feel. Um, I would say at least one, one of those once a week, at least I would say try to do two live videos a week if you can. And then the other one, just some type of content, um, educating some type of educational content. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions before we go into her examples? No question. So, Abby, I'm going to go into your examples really quickly. We got one, two, three, four, five. We have five here. And then for anybody that wants the um, templates, you can tell them how they'll get that, right? Okay. All right. So, this is one of your examples, your new listing, right? And how did you create this? Um, I kind of created it the same way I just was showing you guys. But okay. what I did was I put the image first and I just put it halfway towards there. Um, and then I just use different fonts. And there's also like the little the little bathtub, the square footage thing. All of those tools are in that right, on that left-hand corner in those, um, I can't see it right now, Jerome. In Canva, it. yeah. In, it's in, in the Canva. elements in Canva. In the elements, yeah. If there's anything in particular you're looking for, you just type it in the search bar and it'll come up with it so that you can see it. And then you can apply that to whatever image it is that you put up there. All of this stuff that I've created was freehand, just stuff off my brain that I just thought that, okay, this will be cool. Let's just put it out there. All right, so I'm gonna do one more example. Um, I wanna, cause I, you know, I like to pick on you. That's what your personality, I love your personality. So I'm gonna do the personality what? one. I don't even know what that is. What is that? I think it's a video. Okay, no, it's a picture. It's a picture of you. Oh, okay. So this was a, a, a personal picture of me uh, when we did our vision board party here in our office. Uh, restructure your road to success 2021 goal, um, your 2021 goal. So we had a vision board party and I just, um, you know, we create these inspirational, anything that you can create inspirational or just to get people inspired to do better and be great and have a successful year, that's personal. That's that touches people in some type of way. Um, I also, I think I probably extended an invite to those to people on social media that day as well. So anything that you can do that shows some type of personality, but as you guys can see, the branding colors are always there 
on the things that I promote. Red, black, and white, bottom line. Use All right. on your brain. Thank you. And then last, I'm just going to open up these examples okay. so they can see. And while they're open, right, we got all this content in Canva that you can kind of use, right? So a lot of times people are like, oh, I don't know what to do or what to post. I don't have inspiration. It's literally hundreds of templates here, right? And Ebony, so I'm going to go back to her slide and um, what are we looking for, right? Explain to them how they can get access to your slides so they can get access to those templates and those examples. Um, yeah, so if you guys um, are interested in any of the slides or just um, getting access to those templates, using them as examples. Um, and also, I would love for a testimonial on how I did today. If you could email me at ebony.lifestylerealtor at gmail.com, I'll be more than happy to share those slides with you and also um, some of those templates. So um, again, I thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, it was great being able to you know, drop these golden nuggets. And again, thank you very much for the opportunity. Ebony, thank you. You did, you, you did, you did an excellent job. Uh, does thank anybody you. have any questions before she goes? We got about three minutes left, but if nobody has any questions, we can, we can end early. So any questions? Thank you, Ebony. That was awesome. Thank you. I'm so glad you guys found value in the information. And thanks for being in a time zone that I could watch. I'm in Hawaii. Everything's really oh, okay. so <laughs>